Hi everybody, this is Paige from Paperback Tomates, and today is the first day of Romance Off So today is the first day of Romance Opoly and I have already read the first book on my list. I actually started it late last night. Um, it was past midnight so it was technically today and I started reading it because I was having trouble sleeping and my son kept waking up and so I just started reading it and I've just finished it just now. Um, it is almost lunchtime, so I um I'm off to a pretty good start. I read Face Captive by Lily Archer, and I did not realize that this was a shorter book, and it left off the cliffhanger. So I'm just like, ah, <laughs> I have to read the second book to find to see what happens next. But I am sticking to my TBR because this is the Romance Opoly week, so. I need to stick with it, but as soon as Romance Opoly is over, I am definitely going to be reading the second book. So this book, Faye's Captive, is basically a, a girl named Taylor who is going to college and she has a roommate that she really doesn't like. And her roommate basically kidnaps her and brings her to the land of the Fae. So she is um, imprisoned and then the king, the winter king, because there's the winter realm and the uh, summer realm, um, he becomes mated to her. So it's like faded mates. And he realizes that she's his mate. So he rescues her from the summer realm where she's imprisoned. And he's taking her back to his winter realm. And that's where it leaves off. So I can't wait to start the second book. Um, but I'll have to wait until next week to start it. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be continuing on in this series. It is pretty good. Uh, I love things. That, I love books to do with Faye and um, This was a really good book. So highly recommend it rated it five stars And now I am beginning the gravity of us by Brittany C. Cherry. This has been on my TBR for so long I've been meaning to read it. I just have never done it. I've, it's been on my Kindle Just haven't gotten it read. So anyway, I'm going to start it today and I've got to go see what my son is doing, probably getting into some kind of trouble. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and update you. And so, yeah, off to a good start for a Romanceopoly. Someone is very sleepy, so I've been sitting here reading The Gravity of Us, and but now I'm going to go lay him down for his nap and continue reading.
welcome to day two of Romance Opoly. And today is a special day because it is my birthday. <laughs> Not really much, too much going on. Um, nothing other than the usual. Staying at home, watching my Whoa. crazy boys. <laughs> One who is currently on my bed jumping. So, yeah. Um, that is mom life. For sure, especially with boys. So anyway, um, <laughs> I have just um, been doing the usual this morning: drink coffee, which I'm still doing. <laughs> um, eating, ate my breakfast, put put a little makeup on. Um, I usually just do my eyes now for like I don't do like a full face makeup um, every day. I really don't put makeup on every day anyway. <laughs> But I definitely um, wanted to put something a little on for today since I'm trying. <laughs> um, I was just watching Jess from Peace Love Books. Um, right there. Uh, her new video from the weekend. I'm trying to watch everybody's videos today too. Um, what baby? Where's my son? Say hi. Yay. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I finished um, The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry last night. So day one, I got two books read. So off to a fantastic start for Romance Opoly. Got two books read one day and I'm really glad because usually the weekends I don't read as much because my husband is home and he requires my attention. <laughs> So, um, I'm hoping that I can get more read the starting of through the week, the starting of this week and through the week. So that way I don't really have to, um, not stress, but worry so much over the weekend to try to get my books read. But anyway, all that to say, The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry was a fantastic book. I rated it five stars, just like every Brittany C. Cherry book that I've read. It is so good. Um, I think I was, I think I could read anything she writes and it would be really good. She writes very emotional books. Um, they really tug at your heartstrings. Uh, <laughs> and, um, it was just really great. So it's about Graham. He's very cold and closed off because his dad was not very nice, um, to him growing up. He was um, a drunk who hit him and abused um, his mother and then his stepmom later on. And so he just did not have a good um, life growing up. Everybody would leave him and abandon him. And so he has just grown up to be this closed off individual. He's a New York Times bestselling author, just like his dad. And he gets married to a lady and then, but it's mainly like a transactional marriage. Like it just helps further their careers. It's not anything about love. And then she, she accidentally becomes pregnant. And so, and then the heroine is Lucy, which is Graham's wife's sister. So, and she's very, she's the complete opposite of Graham. She's, um, he, <laughs> He actually calls her a weird hippie <laughs> several times in the book, which made me laugh um, because she is just a free spirited girl. She's really down to earth and she is, she just fills everything. She's emotional. She's just a forgiving person. She's just really great. And she meets Graham because um, he needs help with their baby because, um, his Graham's wife took off because she couldn't handle having a preemie in the NICU. And so Lucy comes over a lot to help Graham with the new baby. And it's just really, it was really fun um, to see their relationship grow. And um, times when they didn't even realize that really that they loved each other. And then um, Graham <laughs> was such a broody hero that any little nice thing he did for her was just <laughs> made made you literally swoon i really like that um especially because lucy is a gardener she and her sister her other sister own a flower shop and 
one nice thing he did for her was build her a garden in his backyard and that was just like <laughs> such a great moment in the book because he had never really done anything nice for anybody before but when she came into his life she started softening him up and like he said his heart started beating again um, since she was in his life and in his daughter's life and it was just a fantastic book I really enjoyed reading it and I highly recommend it today I started the third book called it is pucked by Helena hunting um, I, I don't know what percent I am I'm not very far into it I haven't even finished the first chapter yet I just started reading it before I got out of bed and then a little bit through breakfast so I will be reading that today um, it is about a girl who her stepbrother is a hockey player and she has had a um, some kind of not a relationship I don't think but some type of um, hook up with a hockey player before and it did not end well so she has just like sworn off all hockey players she's not she doesn't really care about them she and then um, from the synopsis, she'll she will have a one night with a hockey player, and then it'll turn into more. So, but I'm not very far into it right now. She is getting on the plane because they have to go see her stepbrother's um, hockey game. So that's where I'm at right now. Not very far into it, but looking forward to reading it because I've heard really great things about this book. Okay, I've got to go because the lip is long now, and my son is requiring my attention. So. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Mama. So I was just laying here on my bed looking at my phone and stuff and I have to show you what my cat Ash does. He's on my back. <laughs> he is definitely a people person cat. He's got to be near somebody all the time. So, yep. <laughs> He especially loves my husband, but when my husband's at work, he he likes me. Ashy, hey. kitty, 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 kitty. Good morning. Good morning. Baby. Somebody decided to roll out of bed finally. Mama, 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 mama. Say good morning. Baby. <laughs> he says Blippy. <laughs> Are you obsessed with Blippy? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the food. Yes. Made a mess. <laughs> Welcome to day three of Romance Opoly. Um, I am still on Pucked. I didn't get a lot read yesterday. For some reason, I just yeah. kept getting distracted with a lot of things. And I, I don't know. I just didn't get a ton read yesterday. But um, I think I'm, all, I'm about 50%. I'm not sure exactly, but it's about 50%. So I'm halfway done with the book. And I'm really liking it. Um, even though I didn't get a lot read yesterday, um, I got some read late last night and then some this morning. So um, it's going good. Uh, I really like Violet. She's the heroine. She is so funny. She's socially awkward. <laughs> like I, like me. <laughs> I could put myself in her shoes a lot of the times where she puts her foot in her mouth and it's just like 
says totally inappropriate things sometimes and says um just <laughs> she like beats herself up afterwards and that's exactly what I do sometimes when I'm in a social situation and I say something I'm like later on I'm like why did I say that so <laughs> anyway um she is really funny and Alex the hero is very sweet although he his reputation is like a playboy but he's really not so he's really actually um he's actually a really sweet guy and I really like him a lot and it's um it's going pretty good she's I'm at the part where um she just met his parents for the first time and he called her his girlfriend so that's sweet so anyway I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update I'm going to try to get this book finished today so I can start on the fourth book and yeah I'm really liking it so far sorry my hair is just doesn't look good today but anyway um, I am 79% of the way um, done in pucked and right now the hero Alex has done something to really screw up his relationship with Violet so she's not talking to him or anything so I'm assuming now will come a grand gesture at least he better do a grand gesture <laughs> um, because he said something to the media which really broke her heart so he's got a lot of um, groveling to do to make it up to her so anyway I'm 79% done with the book I should be done in a little bit I Today's the fourth day of Romanceopoly. I know this is not a very flattering angle, <laughs> um, but I just realized I've been videoing today a little snippets here and there, but I haven't really talked to you guys yet today, so I wanted to do that. I'm about to lay my youngest son down for his nap, um, but before I did that, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update. I started reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass last night. 
I um, am thoroughly enjoying it. I have been in a mood for wanting to read a fantasy, so this has come at the perfect time. And I've been wanting to read this series for a while now. As you can see, I'm not, I'm uh, probably not quite halfway done yet, but I'm getting there. Um, let's see, I'm actually on page 173, so. Anyway, um, I'm enjoying it. The girl, the human girl, Feyre, uh, was, had to go to the land of the Fae because she had killed a, um, one of the Fae. Sort of un un unknowingly, she had suspicions about it, but she was out hunting and she killed a wolf who was, um, it was a fairy mass as a wolf, so she killed it. So now she had to pretty much sacrifice her life from the mortal land to um, live in the fey land. So she is living with her captor Tamlin, and and um, it's going pretty well. I'm really enjoying the story. I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out. There's a blight that has cursed their land so like they're all forced to wear these masks that they can't take off and their magic is not as powerful as it used to be and things like that and one day it would go into the mortal realm where the humans live so i'm excited to see uh how that plays out to see how if what they do to um undo the curse and all that so I am enjoying it and I will be continuing reading it today and um, hopefully I will have it finished today because I really would like to try to stick to my one book a day challenge because this is my fourth book and I'm in the fourth day so I'd really like to finish it today so I can stay on track and read a book a day for this week. So that's where I'm at. I will update you guys later.
guys, welcome to day five of Romanceopoly. Um, it is Friday and my husband is actually home today. I know you've seen in the previous clips where he's been in it. <laughs> he actually got an extra day off for this weekend, so he has three days off. And I just wanted to go ahead and update you about the books I'm reading. I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses late last night when I was in bed and I loved it. <laughs> I cannot wait to continue reading on in the series. I can't read on in the series yet because I'm reading my TBR for Romanceopoly, but I loved Feyre and Tamlin and Resand and all of the characters in the book. There's just, I love the world. I love the sacrifices that each of them make for each other and it's just so so good. I love the book. Uh, I rated it five stars of course and I can't wait to continue reading on the series. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> that was one of those books where you're like please don't end because I keep um, I kept wanting to just be in that world in that story. So. I thoroughly enjoyed that book. It's probably my favorite book of the week. And I started On the Rocks by Candy Steiner last night. And I'm, I'm like 10% into it. I haven't really read this much this morning because I've just been hanging out with the hubs and we've been playing Call of Duty on the Xbox and all that good stuff. So. Anyway, I will update you when I have more to update on. Welcome to day six of Romanceopoly. I haven't videoed anything and it's already 4.30 in the afternoon. Today is Saturday and we have just been doing things as a family. Um, this morning we had to go pick up our Walmart grocery order since quarantine and I'm just doing all of our shopping online. Um, so they they shop for it and then they load it in your vehicle and so you never even have to get out and there's no contact with people. So This morning we went and picked up that, put all the groceries away, ate lunch, um, laid my youngest son down for a nap and now me and my husband were cooking supper. I've made potato salad and I have baked beans in the oven and then he is grilling ribs. So. That was what I had originally requested for my birthday the other day, but we didn't have any ribs on hand and I didn't want to risk going into the grocery store. So I'm like, well, I'll just add it to a Walmart order and we'll just make them this weekend. So that's what we're doing tonight. As far as books, I'm still on On the Rocks uh, by Candy Steiner. I'm just not getting this read fast because truthfully, I don't want to be reading <laughs> this book because I'm just... Since reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, I just want to read fantasy so bad. I want to continue on in that series. And in the beginning of the week, I read Face Captive, and I want to continue on in that series. And um, there was a new book recently um, published by C.M. Stunnage, and <laughs> I want to read that book. And it's just like, I don't want to read any of the books that I have on my TBR, but I'm trying to force myself to stick to Romanceopoly and, and finish it. So I'm still reading On the Rocks by Candy Steiner. It's a good book, but it's just not what I'm wanting to read right now. I'm, I'm a mood reader, but I'm trying to stick, make myself stick to this. I think I'm 50 to 60%, I can't remember, somewhere between there um, in the book. So I still have a little ways to go in it. It is good. It is about um, Ruby Grace. She is a 
mayor's daughter and she's engaged to a politician and or he's trying to become a politician and it's this is the life that like she was born for and bred for and she meets Noah again um, now she's 19 she knew him when she was younger and he is just showing her like this he sees that she's stuck in her life that she's really not who she wants to be and that she has dreams that everybody's trying to crush and he's trying to make her realize that hey you don't have to go along with what anybody else says you can live your own life and she is kind of starting to slowly realize this and of course they're falling in he has already fallen in love with her <laughs> but it's taken her a little while because she is engaged to another guy so anyway that's where I am right now and um, I'm hoping I can get it finished tonight hopefully <laughs> and then I can start um, on the next book Welcome to the final day of Romanceopoly. This is day seven club. This is actually a day after Romanceopoly has ended. I didn't actually film on day seven. I just read. So I figured that I would give you guys an update today about the books that I read for this week. So on the last day, which was yesterday, I read Angie's Gladiator by Ruby Dixon and I gave it five stars. This is about a girl named Angie who was kidnapped from Earth and she was impregnated by an alien and she has been in a stasis pod. She wakes up on this ice planet and she is protected by this other type of alien which is like a clone and his mission, it is his mission to protect her, him and his brother. And so he, they are protecting her and being dedicated to her and in the process he falls in love with her. And it is a really cute story. I like, I really liked it and I gave it five stars. Now I'm just going to give you a brief rundown of the books that I read for Romanceopoly. I started the week off with Face Captive by Lily Archer and gave it five stars. Then I read The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry, also gave that one five stars. Then I read Pucked by Helena Hunting, gave it five stars. Then I read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, gave it five stars, and it was my favorite book of the week. Then I read On the Rocks by Candy Steiner, gave it five stars, and then I read Angie's Gladiator by Ruby Dixon and gave it five stars. I only missed one book on my TBR, which was Rule by Jay Crownover. I didn't have enough time to finish um, all of the books on my TBR, but I read six for this week out of the seven so I'm pretty proud of myself for reading almost all that was on my TBR and I thoroughly enjoyed participating in Romanceopoly and I can't wait to do it again in the future. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!